Hello beautiful people, my name is Alexis and I am the author of the Ascension Diaries YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook page. I have just one note before we get started. I've been cross-posting all of those platforms and Instagram only allows 15 minute videos so the longer videos are on my YouTube channel if you're interested and that will explain why if you're seeing this on Instagram and it just abruptly stops or I stop right away it's because it's not gonna let me go much longer than that second I really push it so without further ado hello hello it's this is the third episode of the color with me podcast and I'd encourage you if you have the opportunity to get grab a piece of paper a pen pencil pencil crayons paint whatever and sit down and just have a moment with me and color and just let it go and I wanted to dedicate today's piece to a dear friend of mine. Her name is Esther, and she's been a, an angel in Jason and I's life, and uh, we're currently living together. She's going to be moving on soon, so I wanted to give her something. Oh, it's 11-11. I wanted to give her something to go uh, with from me, so I'm going to be doodling with that, and I wanted to quickly share with you, I pulled some cards for us for this video. I have three cards today and here's the message so it says we have the seven of air which is plans that need revision more going on than meets the eye and poor timing so this I asked specifically the people who are gonna watch this what message is going to serve best so just um, yeah there's always more going on than meets the eye let's be honest so we have that so a little cautionary and then we have the king of fire which tells us to focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so that is it's like don't don't get don't jump into it too fast plan a little more but keep your focus don't lose track and then again we have the eight of earth which is the apprenticeship card it talks about skilled work being rewarded it talks about uh, learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school. So again, plans needing revision, focus, go back to school, hone your skills. That's the message that came through for us today. And uh, it's important. It's important to consider uh, being patient with your beautiful creations, uh, especially when the cards are saying so. It doesn't always say that, but when it does, I definitely always like pause usually when I'm asking it's when I'm not feeling confident anyways so it's nice to be like okay I need to chill and so today I bless my my family's heart my mom and my sister and my dad my brother everybody who watches these videos and my mom was concerned that I was dealing with sadness that I was unhappy and I wanted, I thought that was a great topic because I definitely have been dealing with sadness. <laughs> and that's why I'm prescribing myself therapy right now because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of just kind of listlessly moving through life the last little while. It just feels like I haven't been able to get that oomph, that fire, that energy back into my life. And there's a lot of really basic, simple ways to achieve that. And I know this and a lot of you know this too and so I wanted to bring up sadness and kind of bring it to your awareness because sometimes we just kind of let sadness happen and that's fine but if you have the power to change it why not give it a shot and so this is again this is my third day of exercising I run and you know stretch and do leg and arm workouts and whatever I can. It was actually raining today. It's cold. I'm wearing a coat for a reason. I'm actually pretty chilly. Um, <clears throat> and that's a great way to get your blood flow and to get to get things figured out. You know, it kind of helps the energy release that's all st stuck in there. And you're like, well, I don't have any energy. I'm tired. It's like you would think so. And then you start jogging, and then it's like, oh, like. The energy is actually coming from within us. Uh, the fact that we're separated from source or separated from energy and we have to get it from outside of ourselves is an illusion. And I had a dear friend of mine remind me of that the other day under one of my posts. And uh, she, yeah, it helped me understand why I feel so motivated right now to exercise and everything. Because I'm like, I have no energy 
my sister's like, it's going to give you energy, just exercise. And so I did. But yeah, I've been dealing with sadness in, in a way where I've been feeling kind of creatively blocked because of my circumstances. And it, the sadness wasn't for nothing. I definitely have plenty of other emotions going on. I had, I'm elated in a lot of ways that the, the risks, I would say that maybe not even risks, but the path that I was guided down to this last couple years has been arduous. It's been tricky. It's been hard on my mind. It's been hard on my soul in a way because I was in the system for the system that I was born into and I chose to do that. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that for, you know, 20, you know, 20 years, 20 plus years longer in a way, but it's, it's hard to also watch, you know, it's hard to do this type of thing alone in a way. And I haven't been alone. I've been with my partner and I've been with my puppy, but it's tricky because I want to do with my family and I want I miss them and (laughs) it gets me emotional but that's okay because the vulnerability is also really really important and I want them to know how much I care about them (laughs) of course and I'm excited because they're gonna be coming to visit me soon which is cool and I'm happy to have like a solid location where I can like kind of rebuild myself before I see them because I'm proud of what I've created as tricky as it has been I've had support the whole way and that's really not why I've been sad I've just kind of been sad I feel like because everybody else is kind of sad and I can see that people aren't you know enjoying their fullest potential they are feeling helpless and it's hard to break out and do something different when you don't know what the outcome is going to be like I did (laughs) and so many people are led down that trail in their life and they are forced to go through things that are uncomfortable and it can make you sad because you feel out of control and one thing that Jay says all the time is that control is kind of a service to self emo- or a uh, motivation because uh, you really it's a preoccupation that kind of separates you from the flow of the universe and so I've had to let go of control of a lot of things in my life about how often I eat how often or where I'm sleeping <laughs> um, who I'm spending time with Um, There are aspects of and choices you can make, but a lot of the time you make those choices after you've already been exposed to these things. And so, yeah, it's, I just, I'm trying to describe how the sadness is kind of like coming in. I'm sad, I've had sadness because I've watched people struggle and I've, I've had sadness because I'm a Libra and I, I'm always constantly being like, that's not fair. Uh, that's not just and I see injustice on the world I see injustice injustice in my own life but I've had to look beyond those things and understand that there's a greater picture there's there's more going on there's there's a multi-dimensional stuff happening that I'm just barely getting an access to (laughs) through personal practice of trying to clean up my body from heavy heavy metals and fluoride and you know thoughts and opinions about stuff that aren't even true and I've shown myself the capacity of my strength and my um, willingness to go on and ability to adapt has been very empowering and I think the sadness just kind of creeped in because I uh, miss I miss doing this. I missed creating. I miss sitting down. I missed having a desk. I missed having (laughs) privacy. And uh, I was stressed about money. This is a hard one, but it's good. (laughs) I was stressed about all these things. And, you know, even yesterday when we're buying groceries, I had this like 
guilt in my body like oh my god we're buying so much <laughs> in a way I feel almost guilty having all these things having all these materials which most of them are, I'm gonna eat but still and like how many people don't get to have all these things and it's a, it's a constant thing where my mind feels things are supposed to be one way and then they aren't and it's just worn on me and that's okay because I'm still here and I'm rebuilding and I'm exercising and everything's cool so sadness is definitely it can kind of creep up on you but it's not the only emotion I felt like I've said I've experienced great happiness as well and I'm grateful for the family that I have been creating and growing with Apollo and Jace and um, my friends here <sighs> and like Esther and Z like I did my picture for yesterday which by the way I noticed afterward that there was an upside down pentagram over the earth <laughs> that I drew <laughs> I just saw the time of the video it's 11 11 I swear I'm drawing at a weird angle so I didn't even know that I was doing that so benefit of the doubt and you know these kind of symbols and everything they don't really mean what all of those crazy little secret societies mean because you know what if I follow the theme of what I believe which is that there are multiple worlds out there and if all of them have their own little secret societies and they've all done weird things to twist reality and whatever because it's you know it's kind of our right as the universe embodied to like experiment with all of these things and all the motivations are just all spectrum of ourselves so uh i've decided that the upside down star was innocent and it was just a star and it was pretty and i liked drawing it and it made me happy so it's a good thing um, but for those of you who are experiencing sadness back on topic, I just would like to encourage you to know that there is plenty of other emotions out there and to preoccupy yourself with just one emotion or claim that you are one thing is a disservice to the fact that you are everything. You are all the emotions. You are the entire spectrum of existence. And so you get to choose your own adventure and there's ways to like move energy through this antenna, this body that changes your emotional field and like exercising and coloring and playing with puppies and you know, the good stuff like that. I'm incredibly happy for many reasons too. I'm not sad all the time. It was just this kind of lingering, I think it was almost like exhaustion instead of sadness, but it's kind of like rough to be exhausted all the time too and I'm so incredibly happy with the amount of liberation I've been able to achieve for myself because again I believe that I am intrinsically connected like the roots of a tree or the leaves on a tree to the people in my DNA and my genetics to all the people I've ever met and touched people I've n I will never see connected to all of them and me finding liberation for myself was an act of not only f selfish act, which it was an act to initiate that for other people as well, to carve a path where other people can f liberate themselves. And I'm watching it happen to lots of people. They're finding an art, they're finding a service, they're finding something that they can give that will provide back to them because the universe will do that and so it's been a beautiful process and it's made me very happy to do so and so I would encourage you to find that happiness don't act only just for yourself, but act for the people you love and care for because that's what real happiness really is, is knowing that not only are you experiencing growth and expansion, but doing so, it's going to help the people you love. 
that's all for today on Instagram. But on um, YouTube, if you're if you're still here listening to me, <laughs> I have so much gratitude for being being alive being free being able to go through multiple emotions in a single day without causing any type of judgment on myself or yeah harshness and I've definitely felt harsh I felt harsh emotions I have felt lots of stuff I have felt more than I've ever felt through this process and <laughs> I'm grateful and also wary because I'm aware now of like how numb I was and how 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 far we've kind of fallen from the true experience which is like emotional all the time it's very emotional but also having a an ability to regulate your emotions and pause and not allow them to make actions and I wish the Instagram video didn't end by now because this is a really good point, but action and emotion have to be separated and that's another thing that I've really, really had to work on because it seemed like when I wasn't exercising, because again, we were mostly sleeping in a tiny tin <laughs> tin can, it felt like sometimes, uh, there wasn't a lot of space to stretch or exercise, it was very... Uh, it was very intense. It was very like, Arr! like everybody is so close to me. Everybody's touching me. I don't get any privacy. And so mm, the space between um, action or sorry, the reaction, emotion in my reaction was getting very, very small. And I was having a very hard time with that. And again, as somebody who is a Libra, I, I enjoy balance. I enjoy justice and it was not good. It was not balanced. It was making me sad too because I like felt like I was losing control of myself. But I also knew that it was going to make me stronger and that I was going to adapt and figure it out because I've done it plenty of times. I've always been an emotional person. And uh, this was just the next level of challenge. And I'm grateful because I feel like now I've come to the other side of a lot of that struggle and I feel so much better and I feel so much wiser and I feel as though I've gone through it because I'm going to be helping other people go through it too. And it's an honor. It's an honor to know that somebody out there listening to this right now is going to consider, you know, breaking free from their comfort zone, from, um, I want to say, the matrix because I was able to do it. And if I'm able to do it, you're probably able to do it. Let's be honest, because I am you. Uh, I, uh, I'm just grateful to have been a part of the whole thing. And I knew that I was being watched over and consoled when I was feeling sad and supported when I was mad and elated at so many points and in awe of the, the magic we were able to harness as a family in order to not only survive but to thrive and it was truly it has been truly fantastic and I'm grateful for all the help that I've received and the, the support because people saw that it wasn't easy they saw that I was upset and but they've seen me happy too and I want to give off the happiness vibe more and more so I'm going to work on that because it definitely impacts the people around me and I, I don't want to be the reason why someone else is not feeling good you know what I mean and I know you don't want that either in your own life we came here to be the sunshine on a cloudy day and for me to be able to hold that vibration, I need to be able to feel it. And even on a cloudy day like today, I was able to harness that and sit down and do this video again. 
And wow, did it feel nice to just draw a picture? Like, wow, don't I? I feel so much better. I don't know. I'd love to see, like, if you guys follow me on other social medias and you're on this YouTube video right now, I'd love it if you sent me the pictures that you're drawing. I truly challenge you guys to, you know, draw with me anything, literally anything. It'll make me so happy. I'd be so proud to know that. I'm encouraging this modality just as much as I care about sharing about the Schumann resonance I care about our health and our balance because the Schumann resonance affects us in such a drastic way because I feel like we're out of tune our antennas are a little bent they're flowing a little weird the magnetic field that we're giving off is a little distorted because of the emotions we're feeling and you know the environments that we are in and I want to encourage you to really value yourself and know that to avoid environments that cause you to feel such ickiness like it's not worth it it's really really not worth it definitely make it a goal to care for yourself and go within and really know what you want and work towards it you can totally dive head, head first into it if you're like me or you can gradually do it because I, I can tell you, I can assure you it'll be easier on your emotions and your mind if you're a little bit more patient and you're gradual with it, like a tree growing. <laughs> but if you want the thrill of just releasing as much as you possibly can so you can rebuild faster, in my opinion, that's what I've been able to do. And I'm in the rebuilding process right now. You're watching it happen. You're listening to me go through it. And I'm excited because I've been looking forward to the rebuilding process a lot. And I've had many opportunities, many other shelters that I've been able to rebuild in. And the rebuilding process is constantly happening. It's not just where I am now. It's, it's constant thanks to so many people and I can't even name them all just seeking shelter under someone else's more organized home and vibration has been so helpful because I really feel like I've I spun myself all the way out and kind of like shook off all of the hooks and the and the beliefs and everything that have kept me in a fear-based decision-making place and I'm grateful that I no longer have as deep they aren't all they aren't all gone that's for sure but the de the depth of how they struck me emotionally is not nearly as big and I have this path to thank have this um I have so many people to thank and myself to thank for that and so yeah uh, if you're feeling sad, don't worry. There is so many ways out there to help you reprogram that because it's just a vibration. Everything is vibration. How do you raise your vibration? You raise your heart rate. You um, raise your oxygen levels. You... Uh, interact with other people who you like and care about you build something you create something you do something there's plenty of options out there and it's your choice to make and how many days I chose I not to make those decisions I I don't have any regrets about that because now that I am making those decisions it feels oh so delicious ah <sighs> but I think that's going to be all for today's little color podcast. I love you all very much and thank you for listening. If you'd like to follow me on Patreon by offering a small pledge of just a dollar even or uh, $5.55, that activation number, it would be really appreciated. We have, I know when I start getting my juju back and my energy back, I'm going to be blasting off into another project and I feel now I feel that we're kind of 
in the reservation mode where we're kind of building resources we're building strength again and I know it means it's because we're going to be off on some other mission and I love it I love both versions and I'm really grateful to be resting right now so patreon for support instagram facebook for other content and that's all i will be seeing you again soon i love you very much